for this week, we begin the first of a three part series dedicated entirely to Georgia's farm moms because let's face it guys without them, we would be lost. First up, Ellen Chase, the matriarch of Chase Farms in Macon County, a lifelong resident of Oglethorpe. Ellen wears many hats. She is a wife, a mother, grandmother, great grandmother, and believe it or not, an expert behind the wheel of a tractor. We were once a thriving little town with uh, service stations and, and businesses, but uh, as many small towns now, we're, we're sort of dried up, and uh, I don't think we have one service station in town anymore. Well, maybe one, but anyway, it's uh, unfortunately, the little towns are drying up. Our young people are not finding anything to stay in the area for, and they're course leaving and when our young people leave it, it they kind of take the take the life of the town away with them uh, I was not raised on a farm my dad worked for the railroad and uh, we, I just know didn't know anything about farming and uh, I guess maybe I was learning those first few years and then uh, as our children uh, got in the teens. And I guess my husband realized that he needed someone to, to drive a tractor one day and he said, uh, you can do this. So, so I began to learn how to drive a tractor and uh, kind of my growing into be a farmer it just evolved over whatever needed to be done. I'd drive a tractor. I used to Mo peanut vines. We used to, he, they thought they were too big to go through the, the uh, inverter. So I would mow peanut vines, and then we uh, decided that uh, they bought a self-propelled one with the cab and all this. And so I said, "Well, who's going to drive it now?" And they said, "You are. It's yours." So from 2004 until this year, uh, we just sold it, and it was known as. Ma, mother's combine or Mima's combine or something. So I, I, and so when we sold it, I told the dealer that he needs to tell them, tell whoever bought it, that it was only driven by a little old lady. <laughs> I guess family is one of the, the biggest things that I, that I see on our farm. And you mentioned grandchildren. It, it was a, there were, during that, time when the children, grandchildren were little and ride up and down the driveway on their trikes and their bikes and whatever. That was, that was a very enjoyable part of my life at, at that time and just, just kind of progressed to, to riding the golf cart now. <laughs> but uh, it means uh, a family way of life. We, we know that when our husbands are late for lunch or whatever, we know what they're doing and understand you know that uh, sometimes we don't like it but we understand that uh, the irrigation's broken down and it needs to be running the uh, something the feeder's gone out in the chicken house they have to be fed so there, there's things and so uh, just the family camaraderie as Glenley always said it's a it's a kind of a hard way to make a living sometimes, but it is a, an enjoyable way when you can work with your family and, and, uh, and see things uh, grow. We have definitely grown from when I joined the farm back in 1960. And uh, it, it's, uh, we're very thankful. We know we have been blessed to have accomplished the things that we've accomplished. 